Hey everyone, it's Kyle with Great Facts, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to service a Kirby zip brush. So this is a Avalier One zip brush, and if you're not sure what a Kirby zip brush is, it's pretty much a pet hair and upholstery tool. It's got this spinning brush on the inside, and it uses the vacuum suction to spin it. So when you're using it, you want to go side to side, and it's great for pet hair, upholstery, or any furniture you may have that you need to clean. From generation G3 all the way up to the Avalier 2, uh, the servicing will be the same. The only difference is from Centurio 1 all the way up to Avalier 2, it's going to be this more curved looking zip brush. And whereas from Ultimate Diamond all the way down to the G3, zip brush it's going to be more of a boxy looking zip brush all right so the only tools you need for this video are your hands and possibly a razor blade if you have a razor blade and you have a blade that's curved or kind of a hook that'll work great for removing any stubborn hair that's tangled inside the zip brush so to take the zip brush apart you need to find the front of it and there's going to be this button lock and all you have to do is press it in and pull everything apart Usually when you press it in, everything just pops out. So you got the top bristle part, you got the spinning brush or the turbine, and then the body of the zip brush itself. You also want to make sure that this golden piece in the middle is in there, and if it falls out, just keep a hold of it so you can put it back in later. So for the top part, or the top bristles, you can either run this through a wire wheel, or if you have an air compressor or a can of air, you can kind of spray all the dirt and debris out along with the hair and just kind of pick the hair off. For the spinning brush or turbine, there's usually going to be dirt and hair caked on this middle part, so that's when the razor blade comes in handy. You can kind of cut the hair away, pull it apart, and then you can also run the top bristles right here through a wire wheel or you can spray them out if you have those things available. And then for the main body, you can usually just wipe the inside out because they do get pretty dirty. Um, if that's too much work, what you can do is just get the hair off of everything and throw these parts in the dishwasher. And then by the time the dishwasher's done, everything will look clean and brand new again. So now that you have everything clean, you're ready to put it back together. You want to get the main body, get the middle turbine or spinning brush, and you want to set it on the inside. And if you look closely, there are these cutouts and then on the spinning brush there are these like tabs sticking out so when you put it in you just kind of want to maneuver it so it sits in there properly and then you want to grab the top part grab the lower end first right here and that's going to go in the back and then the top part just kind of snaps into place alright that's gonna be it for this how-to video on how to service a Kirby zip brush I hope you guys found it helpful. If you're in the market for a Kirby zip brush, send us an email at service at greatbacks.com and we'll get you one. If you have any questions or concerns regarding your Kirby or if you're in the market for a refurbished Kirby, please email us and check out our website at www.greatbacks.com. I'm Kyle. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.